Welcome to this week's uh, problem of the week. For this week's problem, we want to find integer solutions to p squared plus 2 to the 19 equals 26 q squared plus r squared plus s squared. And we're also given that p, q, r, s are all primes. So the fact that they're all primes is very useful because we have that some integer divides q and that integer is greater than 1, then q, then that integer must be a prime and q just equals that uh, number, which is useful. So to do this, we're just going to take modulo three different numbers and see that these integers, these integers over here have to be some permutation of uh, these numbers. So first we're going to take this thing modulo four. So, so first note, uh, the thing on the right is divisible by two. If p is an odd, if p is even, which in case it would be two, the thing on the left would not be divisible by two. This would be an odd number, which is contradiction. So p is some odd prime. So note, uh, if you look at modulo 4, if you look at the odds, 1 and 3, 3 squared is 1, 1 squared is 1, so this has to be congruent to 1 modulo 4. So Now uh, one more obs observation of this modulo equation. Uh, if q, r, and s are all odd, this thing inside would be odd. We have 2 con congruent to 0, which is a contradiction. So we must have at least one of these is not odd, one of these is even, but the only even prime is 2, so one of these is 2. So we're, we're just going to pick one. Note this equation is kind of symmetric here, so we can always permute them. We're going to take uh, q equals 2. So that's one integer. So next, uh, we're going to be, we plug in q equals 2, we get 26 times 4 is 104, subtract off that, we get 9, p squared plus 1915 equals 26 r squared plus s squared. So, uh, so yeah, from this we're going to have this, and since 1915 we see n equal to 5, so it's divisible by 5, so that suggests we take everything modulo 5. And so, uh, so yeah, we do that, we get p squared congruent to r squared plus s squared mod 5. Uh, yeah, so writing out 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, mod 5, look at the squares. We have possible squares of 0, 1, or 4. So first note, we can't have r and s both equal to 4, both equal to 1, because that's why p squared congruent to 2 or 3 mod 5, which is impossible. So at least one of these, so we can have r and s 1, 4, in which case p squared would be 5. So one case we want to rule out, if we take r squared congruent 1, s squared congruent 4, vice versa, we're left with p equals 5. If p equals 5, we have... So here we just want to observe 13 does not divide 1940, so this is not a valid solution. So going over what we have uh, observed, we can have r and s both equal to 1. We can have them both equal to 4. We can have 1 equal to 1 and 1 equal to 4. So what we're left with is one of them must be congruent to 0 mod 5, or one of them must actually be equal to uh, 5. So again, it doesn't matter if we pick r or s, so we're going to pick r uh, equals 5. So now uh, for our last modulo equation, we're going to take modulo 3. So again, modulo 3, we can have values of 0, 1, or 2. Squaring these, we see we can have values of 0 or 1 for the squares. So note, if we say p squared congruent to s squared congruent 1, we have 1 plus 2 con congruent 2 uh, times 1, which is just 3 congruent to 2, or 0 congruent to 2, which is a contradiction. So we do not have the both p squared congruent to s squared congruent to 1. So that means one of these must be 3. So, And note, we can have s equal to 3, because then this equation would be 26 times 9 equals 1, 2, 6, 5, plus some positive integer, which is impossible, because 26 times 9 is uh, 234, which is much less than 1, 2, 6, 5. So s is not equal to 3, and we have p equals 3.
So then we're left with we should be left with uh, 1274 equals 26 s squared. We just plugged in people three, and now we just solve this. Uh, 1274 over 26, I believe, is 49, which will leave us with s equals seven. And so this is a solution. So one solution for PQRS is just three, two, five, seven. And note QRS, this over here is symmetric in these three, so we can just permute these three as we please, and it will give us, uh, yeah, give us another six different possible orderings, but it doesn't really matter, because by taking these modulo, we see, you know, one of these has to be equal two, one of these has to be equal five, another one has to be equal three, and another has to be equal seven. And yeah, note all this was was just taking a different modulo, different numbers, and using the fact that they're prime to see they must equal different numbers. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and please check out centermath.org. Thank you.